What is it, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a random custom action figure surgery style tutorial, whatever the hell you want to say, man. Today we're going to be upgrading the entire bloodline. Now I say entire bloodline like Solo Sokoa isn't involved, and I know the turmoil, all right? I know they're not all together. However, I'm going to make some fantasy style of tires here for the entire bloodline today, and it should be a really fun one, man. As you guys can see, we have the entire bloodline except for Solo, as we mentioned. We have all of those guys. We have the Usos, we have Roman, we have Paul Hanks together here and I'm going to show you guys like a really sweet fix up and custom I'm excited to show you guys what we're going to have when we finally complete them so without further ado man let's dive into what we're going to do here and then we'll take you through the whole process get into the final results and then just kind of broadcast everything that we did and showcase it here together in this video man excited to get into it but here we go man as you guys can see in the back we do have the tribal chief versus beast three pack it features Roman Reigns it has Paul Heyman it has Brock Lesnar we found that on our toy hunt the other day if you guys missed that definitely go check out that toy hunt video very fun stuff going on on there. Can't wait to crack that open. But what we're going to do with this is we're going to use the Roman Reigns from this pack. We don't need the Paul Heyman. I already have a Paul Heyman right here. Well, I guess I, technically I could use the Paul Heyman, but I guess it doesn't really matter, man. We're going to get all three of those figures out. We're not going to include the Brock here today. That'll probably come later on surgery, a full surgery style video, whether that's tomorrow or sometime next week. Definitely stay tuned for that. But as you guys can see, we have white Usos. We have a few figures here. We got some paint. It should be fun. I'm going to show you guys, if you guys would like to, how to upgrade your bloodline make the versions we're going to make here today and get into it with you so with that being said man let's shut the hell up let's crack this guy open and then we will get into the rest of the stuff all right man so here's everything that we have here so what we're going to do is we're going to be breaking this down let's get into the surgifiable i don't know what the hell i just said let's get into what we're going to be doing here man so first of all you guys can already kind of see probably where we're going with the paul Heyman. and so we're basically going to be doing a head swap on these guys and a hand swap on these guys now i know that brother love is a little bit slimmer than the paul Heyman. he i mean he really you could get away with giving brother love this this, but the only way you could really achieve that is to get, I don't think this pops off. Can you imagine if that popped off, man? We'd be popping that torso, put it on these legs, and then pop these arms out. You know what I'm saying. You can get what I'm saying. I would be trying to shove this over that bigger gullet. None the, nonetheless, we're going to be giving Paul Heyman the full white suit. Now, that is nothing crazy or, you know, outlandish, but it is going to be sweet when we got all of them in their white gear. That's kind of the whole goal for this video. The damn thing would focus. Next up, the Usos are pretty much done, but I am going to do a head swap here. So I want them all three in their bloodline shirts here but in white we're going to be taking these two guys and this guy and getting them in all white gear now you're probably looking at the usos like well brad they're already in all white gear and you would be correct however i'm going to be switching jay's head sculpt to the ultimate edition head sculpt so we're going to be putting this head sculpt over here on this jay right there i like this jay head sculpt but I, i'm going to go with the more modern one right here so we're going to be getting that guy on there we're also going to give this roman dual red gauntlets just stay with me two red gauntlets we're going to pull his shirt off we're going to tape up his torso so that we don't get paint on his torso. We're going to remove the legs, we're going to paint the crotch white, and then we're going to put these legs from this extra Jimmy Uso that I have over on Roman. So they're all three going to be in all white. He'll have dual red gauntlets. They'll be in all white. It'll be looking fresh. I don't know where the hell my Roman with man bun is. I gotta find that. And I'd like to put the Roman in man bun at the end of the day to fully complete the look. But nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and get started. Let's shut the hell up and dive into everything we're going to do, and let's fix up this bloodline and make them all white attire. All right, man, so first thing things first. You guys already know we can't put, oh my god, I forgot about the dumb neck. The neck. And the only, this is what's crazy, in the move, I can't find my other paintbrushes, so I'm stuck with this god awful paintbrush right here. Let me go ahead and pop this Paul Heyman head sculpt on here, and just see what it looks like, see if it can hide it, at least for just a, a moment. <sighs> I mean, that's not, you can't really see it that much. I'm gonna be hiding that for this video, but I'm gonna touch that up. We'll fix that. We'll fix that, but we are gonna switch the hands, because he does have, like, these rings and stuff on his hands, and I don't want the rings and stuff on the hands, so we are going to pop this off. Damn, I forgot about them painting the neck there. We're going to have to fix that later today. I got to go to the damn hobby shop or the paint supply store, like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels, and I got to buy some extra paint, man. Might have to do that today, actually, because uh, we can't we can't be flying around with that, man. That's not going to work for me, Bradley. So Paul Heyman is pretty much done. Now, we will have to go get paint brushes so we can fix that up, but that looks pretty damn good. Look at that, the red and white. Dude, that looks freaking sweet. I don't care if he's a little bit thinner than I like, you know what I'm saying? I like that. Paul Heyman is complete. We can put him in the back burner here. We'll come back to him. He's looking okay back there. I don't really hate that. And let's see what this Brother Love head sculpt looks like on here. Now, you know what you do, actually? You paint this skin tone, and then you give him gray hair, and then you have a Bruce Pritchard. You have a modern-day Bruce Pritchard for the back office. That's what you have there. I don't know. That's something to think about. All right. There's our Brother Love in blue suit, or Bruce Pritchard. There's that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's move on to our next round of business. So next up, what we need to do is we need to break down a Roman here. I'm going to go ahead 
ahead and pull off the head sculpt. We're going to go ahead and yeah, we might as well. Hmm, let's go ahead and pull the shirt off. We'll pull the shirt off. We will be putting the shirt back on. I really, I can't believe they never gave us an elite Roman with the We The Ones, or not the We The Ones, but the Acknowledge Me White Tee. I know they gave it to us in basic form, but it would have been much better as an elite here. But what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out the arms here. I do want to go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and get our extra red gauntlet in here because I want him to have dual red gauntlets because I think that would be sweet. And all we're going to do is take it from this Roman right here. I'm going to pop this off, put that over there, and then all you got to do is slap this extra red gauntlet over here, and now he has dual red gauntlets. And I'm just now realizing those aren't the same color red? They sure aren't. I know they look like it on camera. This red looks better than this. This is more of an orangish red. I don't like that. We're not riding with that. Put that back on that Elite 103. So the Elite 103 is more of an orangey red, and the three pack is more of an actual red, and the difference does bother me, and I'm not going to be riding with that. We will fix that a different way. Hold up just a sec. I have another three pack Roman right here, Brad. That's why we buy extras, so we can make really sweet fix ups. All right. Now let's put this on here. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. Holy crap, that looks so much better. All right, that goes on there. Now we have dual red gauntlet Roman, and now I'm going to remove the legs, and while we do that, we're going to remove the legs of this J Jimmy over here, and then we're also going to remove the head sculpt of this J. Yeah, that's exactly correct. Let me aim in the the thing right up in there. Let's go ahead and move all this extra shish out of the way. If I don't get this office in order, I'm gonna have a, such a fit. Alright, here we go. Move this guy. God in heaven, man. There's like so much shish right here. Bothering the hell out of me. Alright, man. Let's see if this is good enough. We're gonna pop the J head sculpt off right here. God in heaven, man. Why didn't I get heated up enough? Whoa, Lord in heaven. I know y'all heard that pop. All right, now we're going to pop this leg off, this leg off, and then we're gonna pop these legs off of this Roman figure. Boom and boom. Okay, this can go back here. And now these legs are gonna go in here, but we gotta paint this first. Not looking forward to that, to be honest with you. Don't really wanna paint it, but what are you gonna do, Brad? So for J over here, for this J, we're just gonna pop the ultimate head sculpt on here, like that. All right, now J's complete. Now we literally have three members of the bloodline completed. Now we got to get Roman done and we are finished up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to take the torso off. That way I can paint it really fast instead of having to be more careful, which I know is dumb, but it's just the way of the world. So this paint, this tape right here is, uh, I think this is the kind of tape you use when you're like, when you're like taping off shoes or something to paint shoes. This is what kind of tape this is. I can't remember the damn name of it. Maybe it's Angers or something like that. But I'm just going to rip off a piece here and then I'm going to, if I can't get this on camera, I apologize. I'm going to do my absolute best but this tape's really good because it's really stretchy and it it's very malleable and like it can you can literally like sh you guys can already see look at that how I've conformed it around there and I don't think it's gonna leave any sticky residue on the figure itself and I guess if it does we're just gonna have to live with it but now we're gonna put one more piece on the back and then we're going to start painting this crotch piece All right here's our second piece of tape right there and then we're gonna stretch it through that looks pretty damn good to me right there man very easy like way better than painters tape and I hope it doesn't leave a residue. If it does, I'll figure out a way. But now we're going to paint this crotch piece with our white. Now, we are using Citadel Color Air. This is my favorite paint to use. You usually put it in airbrushes, but for me, Brad, you want your paint to be as thin as possible. And what is thinner than paint that goes into an airbrush, right? So, and I know I don't have any good brushes, so that's why we're using this terrible brush. But that's why we, that's why we taped it up, so it would be a little bit easier. But let's get it. I mean, that looks like enough paint here, you know? I think I think this pretty much gets the job done. I'm going to remove the tape now. I probably could add another layer or two, but... And in retrospect, honestly, like, taping up the entire thing and then going outside and spraying it with, like, a matte white spray probably would have been the best possible thing we could possibly do, you know? But for the sake of the video and, like, showcasing it here in the backstage area where surgery goes down and the surgical table and stuff, I think this is what we got. And I think it turned out pretty damn clean, actually. So spraying it, probably priority number one, but that looks pretty clean. I think, you know, we got everything going here. And now look how clean going all around. Right? Look at that right there, man. 
How are you gonna football with that? You're not footballing with that. And also, speaking of football, last night, we were down 27 to 7 at the start of the fourth quarter. And we scored 21 unanswered in the fourth quarter and won the game 28-27. So you like that? You like that. All right, but now what we're going to do is we got to add these legs back to the Roman. And I know he's going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but we're just going to roll with it. Then we're going to throw the shirt on there. Then we're going to throw the man bun head sculpt or the long hair head sculpt on there. But let's go ahead and heat up these legs so we can put them back onto our Roman reins. Here, and we're going to pop on this leg right here like so and then we're gonna pop this leg and i know i could have probably torso swap and stuff man but i honestly the less torso swapping the better for me brad but there we go look at that right there man now look what we got look at that right there only real ones remember the original bloodline roman reigns from the pick fed look at that right there though man yeah i can appreciate that that's looking pretty you got a little something special going on there young man now we can add the bloodline shirt really wish he had red shoes i'm be honest with you i think the red shoes would complete it because now i feel like he needs white gauntlets or something am i tripping you know what i'm saying i feel like that's a thing putting the shirt on there now look at him are you are you seeing the same thing that i'm seeing right here now you have the long-haired head sculpt on here there's the long-haired head sculpt and then we can do the man bun head sculpt dude look at that guy holy smokes and then you bring in our bloodline look at that one two three four look at that they look like assassins you're gonna tell me these guys don't look like assassins man look at that right there man I think today was a damn good day. Today was a damn good day of surgery, quote unquote. I mean, this looks like surgery pretty much. We did a lot of things here. I mean, I'm going to be real. I think like a red, I don't know. Like I know we're going for the all white look. Like white gauntlets or red shoes on all of them would really be crispy. Like red shoes for Heyman, red shoes for Usos, red shoes for Roma. But this is still very clean and I'm satisfied with the, with the whole thing. But I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys think. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys so very much for your continued support, man. This is great. I am really enjoying what we got over here, man. One of the perks of being a Patreon member to a certain level on the Patreon is you can send me questions about customization and things like that as well, man. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. I enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys next time.